Happy Easter everyone. Uh, Will here with my uh, flea market finds for April 7th and 8th, uh, 2012. Uh, I almost didn't go out this morning. It being Easter, I thought, how I many people are really going to be out there selling stuff? But uh, then I thought, my usual thought, well, if I only find one piece, uh, it'll be worth it. So went out and uh, actually found a uh, few things. Uh, so let's uh, take a look. First up, uh, this is made by Avon, and it's one of the few things made by Avon that I actually look for that's actually worth some money uh, that people collect. Uh, this is uh, called uh, Cape Cod glass or uh, ruby red glass, or I think cranberry glass they call it too, but uh, Paid five dollars for uh, for both of them, both pieces. A little vase and a water pitcher. Water pitcher alone, I expect to get between uh, thirty and forty. The vase, I'm not sure on. Uh, Fifteen or twenty. So I might walk away with fifty dollars out of the uh, pair of them. Uh, nice way to start off the weekend. Uh, they're sitting on this chair, a uh, nice uh, high-backed uh, Windsor chair uh, made by a company called uh, Nichols and Stone uh, brand new these chairs go for around three hundred dollars I got this for uh, eight and uh, found one on eBay that's uh, 125 with uh, free shipping shipping would be really high on this thing I wouldn't even attempt to ship this uh, probably a good Craigslist item and uh, got a few uh, condition issues with the finish uh, somebody will probably just uh, hit it with a uh, coat of paint but uh, real good quality chair you wouldn't have to if this was uh, your chair you wouldn't have to worry about it coming apart on you uh, like the uh, junk you get from uh, Target and uh, any other uh, brand new uh, piece of furniture uh, so I'm thinking hopefully get about 40 out of it uh, somewhere around there I uh, got this for two dollars uh, pretty much knew that it was a, a reproduction but uh, nice little uh, Maltese Falcon uh, lobby card uh, pretty popular movie and I checked it and it is a, a reproduction but uh, for two dollars uh, Found one on eBay. Uh, guy was asking something like thirty dollars for it. Uh, seems thirty seems a little overpriced for a, a reproduction, but uh, um, definitely some room for profit there. These are two pretty neat. Uh, two books, and they're all um, Van Gogh prints, uh, made by. Okay, they're both copyright 1952 uh, Harry Abrams um, and these they lift out uh, to be framed uh, really nice uh, good quality prints um, not sure what uh, what they're worth uh, haven't looked them up but uh, paid five dollars a book for these and uh, get uh, 16 nice prints in each book um, so uh, should do well with those uh, this is a uh, local artist uh, Don Swan I just had one of his pictures uh, a few weeks ago I, uh, of uh, John Hopkins uh, hospital and uh, that sold for $25. That was a little smaller than this. That was in a frame. Uh, this one should bring around, this one says limited edition of 300. Had all sorts of write ups on the back of it. Nice etching. Edgar Allan Poe statue, uh, Gordon Plaza, University of Baltimore. And this is number uh, 34 out of 300. Uh, I don't think it really makes a difference, but uh, 
nice little etching and uh, I think that's an easy $20 uh, so even without the frame uh, got a book well, it's a first edition and it's autographed by Emerald uh, paid eight dollars for that might have overpaid but uh, um, neat little book this is a, a piece of uh, Balik uh, porcelain uh, from Ireland and my mother-in-law collects this stuff so got it for her put a flower in it and have the kids give it to her for Easter today uh, two dollars can't go wrong uh, well worth it it's always a good idea to keep uh, keep on uh, your mother-in-law's good side <laughs> uh, Batman mug nice uh, made by um, anchor hawking fire king you see the uh, anchor inside of the H uh, Fire King wear, little faded, but uh, nice mug. You don't come across very much. Paid four dollars for this. Got a whole stack of these. I got twenty nine of these, and these I've never really done well with comics. Uh, I tend to avoid them, but these were just so cheap. Um, I originally came across them, and the guy was asking a buck a piece for them. And you can see they were given away with uh, bold detergent. And I have a date of February 1969. I love these uh, ads. It's in the old uh, comics. The uh, x-ray glasses for a buck. And then the uh, Polaris nuclear sub. Or is it nuclear? 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 Got a uh, George Bush moment there. Uh, Six ninety-eight. Of course, that's probably like a uh, inch long. Uh, what is it? Rockets that fire real periscope. Periscope firing torpedoes. Electrically lit instrument panel. Seats two kids. <laughs> For only six ninety-eight. But got twenty-nine of these. The guy was asking a buck a piece for them. And like I said, I've never really done well with comics. Um, I sat them down. The guy said, how about 50 cents a piece? And uh, it's 20, like I said, it's 29 of these here. So it came to 1450. I asked him if he'd do any better. He said 14. So I took them for 14. Uh, looked on eBay and there's a few of them on there right now. Uh, the lowest price one is a uh, buy it now of $6. So, I would happily take uh, $6 a piece for these, but uh, don't know how, how hard they are going to be to sell. May have them for a while, but uh, uh, should do okay with them. And also, from the same guy, got a uh, nice little uh, Popeye in a boat. It's got the sticker on it, uh, marked uh, Corgi, uh, Britain. So, nice little Popeye toy, and this is pretty neat. It's got a uh, magic motion uh, Popeye and Brutus uh, uh, sticker on there, little wallet. In decent shape, never been used, and uh, somebody had a sticker of 35 on it, and I got this for $8, and this one was $3, so... $11 for the pair of those. Neat old uh, bottle. Um, looks like it had a cork in the top. I'm not sure. Do know a lot about bottles. Uh, Hollow Rock Bourbon Whiskey. Uh, neat label. Probably would go good in my man cave. Uh, $2 for the bottle. Can't be too many of them out there. It still has the uh, paper label. Uh, so, 
My son bugged me for a uh, rocket kit uh, we found at a yard sale, so I bought it for him. And it's the rocket, and it's everything in here. I don't even know anything about model rockets, so um, ten bucks seemed like a good deal. Uh, this alone was uh, goes for about uh, ten bucks. So, and we have the the igniters and the motors and everything else in here. So. Something, uh, something for a uh, rainy day. This is really neat. Another Magic Motion uh, uh, belt, and probably uh, went to a uh, pair of holsters. And I see it's marked on the inside there. Can't make it out, but uh, nice little old uh, belt. Love the toy guns on the side. The Magic Motion. Uh, paid $5 for it. Definitely some money to be made. Uh, Girl Scout uh, vest with a uh, bunch of patches. Not very old. You can see it's from 93, that patch. Um, the uh, All the different stuff. That was five dollars, and uh, I've had luck selling Scout stuff before, so um, good eBay item. A uh, couple on the uh, back there. A signed uh, picture, double signature from William Donald Schaefer, uh, pretty popular mayor of uh, Baltimore, here in Baltimore. Uh, he's dead now, but uh, it's Neil and Michael, best wishes, uh, Don Schaefer, mayor. And uh, proclamation uh, designating October 1st, 1986 as Fredman and Steinhorn PA Day in Baltimore. Also signed by uh, William Donald Schaefer uh, with the uh, City Steel. Paid $3 for this thing, really nice. Uh, nicely framed and uh, not worth a ton but I think that's an easy 20-25 around here in Baltimore got this xylophone and what sold me on it was down here it's marked Walt Disney Productions got some condition issues a little bit of flaking here and there uh, major flaking there <laughs> and original concert grand Disneyland and it says 1896 I know it's not from 1896 uh, Walt Disney wasn't around back then uh, but a nice 10 toy and I've done really good lately with uh, all my 10 toy stuff at this uh, auction I go to. Um, stuff that uh, I only expect to go for 20 is going for 40 and 50. So this cost me uh, $8. I'm gonna put it in there and uh, see how it does. Um, yeah, it's uh, unknown. I don't think I'm gonna lose any money. but. Uh, um, condition means so much when you're buying anything um, that might really hurt it but uh, we'll see got a uh, cast iron pan my favorite uh, it's Griswold uh, you can can't make it out very well but that's their mark the uh, cross inside of the uh, circles uh, Erie, Erie PA uh, cast iron number nine uh, this will clean up I should do a video on cleaning these up I just hope it's not uh, pitted underneath that uh, caked on uh, gunk uh, if it's not pitted um, I have to look it up I've done good with these in the past paid six dollars so uh, they're good frying pans uh, nice collectible you can still use 
this is pretty neat. Uh, one of my favorite finds. Uh, and it might be a sleeper. I'm not really sure. I've never seen one like this. Take a look. It's got uh, seven stars. And uh, it's definitely got some age. Uh, it's been flown to death. You can see from the end here. Pretty tattered. Uh, nice size. Um, kind of looks like a uh, Civil War flag. Uh, don't think it's that old. Um, it's pretty, pretty well done. It looks like uh, machine, uh, machine stitched and put together. So I don't think it's it's a Civil War flag, but uh, um, I paid 25 for this and uh, got to do a little research so I'll let you know on that one this is my what was I thinking uh, buys uh, I don't know it just uh, <laughs> it was two bucks a flexible flyer a sled um, and seen better days still usable but uh, I don't know. I think I, uh, if I had to do it over again, I think I would have passed that up. Uh, it's something a little different for me to buy. Got uh, these are all dogwood trees. Uh, four of them. The guy was selling them. Uh, he had like ten of them there. He was selling them five bucks a piece, and so I picked out four. I said, uh, well, first of all, I asked him if he'd take. Uh, 15 for four of them, he said sure. So I got four nice dogwoods for uh, $15, so less than $4 a piece. Uh, pretty good deal. I go price them at the uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. And uh, we're going to give a couple of these away for Easter. Uh, wrap the bottoms up and uh, give them to the grandparents. Um, and keep a couple for ourselves. Yeah. I'm all for, like I said in the past, I'm all for uh, using flea market yard sale finds to improve the value of your home. And improving the value of your home isn't uh, just on the inside, it's on the outside too. Uh, so, uh, it should be really nice. I like the look of a uh, flowering dogwood. And uh, here's my favorite find. It's a... Uh, this is called a uh, Morris chair, and uh, don't let the uh, the coils around so it isn't in the shadows. Uh, don't let the uh, upholstery fool you. Um, it was originally all green, and these are the original um, cushions. I believe they call that mohair. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, solid oak from the uh, 1900s. You can see here's the green in there. Probably having these uh, covers help save those cushions. I really like this. Uh, the back is adjustable. Let's move this rod. And I sat in it, and it's really, uh, really comfortable. So, um, might be a keeper there. Uh, Mars shares, uh, do a search on them on eBay. Uh, prices are all over the place. I haven't seen a name on it, but uh, uh, prices on these things start at a couple hundred and go to a couple thousand, depending on uh, who made them. I, uh, I got this for, uh, guy was asking 25 I offered him 20 and uh, he took it right away. Uh, I think I should have offered 15 but pretty happy with it. Uh, I love, uh, love old furniture, so I'm uh, going to have to, uh, another thing to do some research on. But uh, there we go. Hope everybody has a... Uh, 
Happy uh, Easter today. Uh, don't eat too much candy. And uh, we'll get out there next week and uh, see what else we can find. Yeah. Happy Easter, everyone.